For months, astronomers had been keeping their eyes locked on 3 I Atlas, the third known interstellar visitor, after Oumuamua and Borisov. It was unlike anything they had seen before. Its strange emerald tail and erratic behavior puzzled even the most seasoned scientists as it cut through the void toward our sun. At first, no one questioned what they were witnessing. It was assumed to be a lone traveler, an enigmatic body sweeping past the solar system, destined to vanish back into the darkness beyond the stars. But on September 19th at exactly 2 at a.m. UTC, the illusion shattered. Something appeared that no one was ready to face. And if you're intrigued by the unknown, by stories that governments would rather you never hear, subscribe now. Because what you're about to read isn't science fiction. It's unfolding above us right now. That night, an amateur astronomer in Chile, alone under the cold sky, pointed his telescope at 3 Eye Atlas and captured images that would ripple through the scientific community like a detonation. Around the glowing green comet-like body hovered nine faint points of light, perfectly spaced moving in flawless lockstep as though tethered to an invisible axis. They weren't random. They weren't drifting. They were orbiting. Fireflies circling a lantern in a silent dance across the void. Within hours, the James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble, and the Very Large Telescope confirmed the same impossible sight. 3 I, Atlas was not alone. It had escorts, ten of them, traveling together, each trailing the same eerie green glow. And what researchers uncovered about these companions would fracture our understanding of the cosmos itself. At first, the images were dismissed as noise, illusions born of cosmic rays striking the cameras. It's a common enough error in deep sky photography, but Webb's unblinking infrared eyes and Hubble's pinpoint precision erased all doubt. These were no artifacts. They were real. Nine smaller bodies flanking 3 I Atlas, each keeping the exact same trajectory and velocity, each radiating an unnatural glow. When scientists performed spectral analysis, the results sent chills across every observatory. The companions weren't fragments torn from Atlas as many had hoped. They were independent objects, forged of nickel, cobalt, and exotic alloys not seen in natural comets. Their composition was metallic, engineered, deliberate. Even more disturbing was their energy. 3 I Atlas had already confounded researchers with a thermal profile, suggesting a 10 gigawatt internal power source, enough to light entire nations. But the companions radiated nearly double that, 20 gigawatts each, compacted into objects no larger than a city block. Nature does not do this. Nature does not build reactors into ice and stone. If these weren't natural bodies, then they were machines, machines far beyond our comprehension, probes, engines, scouts, and the implications of that thought left the scientific world trembling. Yet, the most haunting aspect of the discovery wasn't their power. It was their suddenness. For weeks, telescopes around the world, NASA's Juno, the Parker Solar Probe, even missions en route to Mercury, had been tracking three Tai Atlas. Not one had detected the companions beforehand. According to Harvard's Avi Loeb, the nine bodies didn't drift into view. They blinked into existence, appearing in a fraction of a millisecond, faster than the blink of an eye, faster than a camera flash. Our instruments simply weren't fast enough to capture the moment they emerged. One instant, a solitary traveler. The next, a convoy. To astronomers, it was as if the sky itself had been rewritten. Speculation erupted. Had Atlas released these objects like a swarm of probes? Were they dormant until triggered by solar radiation or gravitational pull? Or had they arrived separately, hiding in plain sight, waiting for the exact moment to reveal themselves? Whatever the answer, the appearance was not random. It was calculated. And the precision terrified those who tried to model it. Astrophysicists turned to their computers, trying to fit the energy profiles into equations. Temperature, density, fusion, fission, but the numbers refused to converge. Exotic containment fields, antimatter catalysis, even dark matter interactions were floated as possibilities. Nothing fit. Each of the nine bodies appeared hotter, denser and more energetic than 3i Atlas itself, as if they were designed for the front line while the main body held back. They weren't just escorts. They were agents, carrying more raw power than anything humanity has ever conceived. Something had placed these objects here, 
Something had engineered their impossible cause. And something was directing their path. The public wanted answers. Why had no one been told? Why did it take an amateur astronomer with a hillside telescope to expose what the world's most advanced observatories had somehow missed? NASA and ESA issued only vague statements, acknowledging ongoing observations while refusing to release raw web spectra. Behind the scenes, though, leaked memos spoke of emergency meetings at the Pentagon, ESA headquarters and China's space agency. Whispers of contingency plans, interception missions, planetary defense protocols buzzed through the corridors of power. Private space companies were approached for rapid launches. Asteroid deflection designs were dusted off. Yet to the public silence, carefully worded reassurances, no evidence of threat, but silence speaks volumes. If nine hidden objects really did appear alongside 3i Atlas, each radiating more power than entire nations, then the truth was already too large to contain. Avi Loeb's analysis brought a new wave of dread. He called it the mothership hypothesis. 3i Atlas might not be a solitary body at all, but a carrier, a larger interstellar craft releasing probes as it approached its target. The companions weren't fragments or debris. They were scouts, deployed to maneuver closer to worlds while the main craft remained at a distance. Their denser power signatures, their synchronized orbits, their simultaneous emergence all fit the theory. The horrifying implication was that these probes weren't drifting. They had a mission. Were they mapping planets, searching for resources, observing us, the only intelligent species they could detect? Probes this advanced do not appear by accident. They appear when they are meant to be seen. Not all agreed with Loeb. Some clung to natural explanations, a massive collision shattering Atlas into fragments that retained its speed and trajectory. But fragments don't ignite like reactors. They don't radiate 20 gigawatts each. They don't produce identical tails of glowing green light with exotic metallic composition. Their trajectories don't hold formation with military precision. Even skeptics began to concede that the companions behaved less like shards of ice and more like machines designed for a purpose. The natural explanation collapsed under the weight of the evidence, and then things grew stranger still. From the opposite side of the sky, another interstellar object, C-2025R2, nicknamed SW, was approaching. A hundred times larger and brighter than Atlas, with a tail five times the width of the full moon. It would pass closest to the sun within days of Atlas. Two interstellar giants converging on the same corridor of space, escorted by hidden companions, all within the same week of October. Coincidence seemed impossible. Some speculated SW was a protector, intercepting Atlas and its escorts. Others whispered the opposite, that both objects were part of the same operation, converging near the sun to exchange energy, data, or even cargo. Historians pointed out that records of unusual green-tailed visitors stretched back millennia, appearing in cycles of roughly 2,200 years. If true, humanity had seen this before and survived. But survival this time was no guarantee. While the public was left to speculate, governments were anything but idle. Emergency sessions convened across the globe. Draft contingency plans outlined everything, from reconnaissance probes to kinetic interceptors. China reportedly redirected resources from its Long March 9th rocket program to design a high-velocity interceptor. Europe dusted off deflection mission blueprints. Even private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin were quietly approached for rapid response launches. Yet in public silence, NASA refused to release web spectra. ESA declined to comment. The White House issued only one sentence. We are aware of the situation and monitoring it. That silence fed paranoia, because when nine objects suddenly appear, each radiating impossible power, and the world's most powerful institutions respond with secrecy, it suggests the stakes are far higher than anyone dares admit. The companion's emergence defied every natural process. To appear in a single millisecond, 30,000 times faster than a blink, meant they didn't drift into being. They were deployed. Comets fracture over hours. Asteroids break apart in cascading dust, but nine symmetrical objects emerging in perfect lockstep, radiating impossible power. That's not astronomy. That's technology. Speculation swirled. If they were probes, were they scouts meant to study our worlds? Their stronger energy cores suggested they were built to endure close encounters 
with atmospheres, magnetic fields and radiation. But some warned of a darker possibility. 20 gigawatts of power in such small objects isn't just excessive for observation. It's weapon level energy. Could these be harvesters? Enforcers? Machines meant to neutralize threats before the main craft proceeds? Without communication, silence reigns, and silence invites dread.